Yeah, yeah. So I went down there yesterday. I've got a few books off there, uh, purely at random, uh, but especially strange subjects. Spontaneous human combustion. Okay. Which is I bought that for a reason. Cause I knew a guy once. He had wooden legs but real feet. His house set on fire. The fire brigade saved the house, but he was burnt to the floor. He tried to claim on the insurance actually, but they said he didn't have a leg to stand on. Uh, UFOs, strange but true. Aliens, strange but true. And uh, road rage, which apparently uh, is getting more prevalent these days. Cause I was driving along. That gentleman, by the look on his face. Obviously has personal first-hand experience as victim or the uh, aggressed, so to speak. All right, well, we won't go into that then, too traumatic. But see, it's getting more and more, so they've even wrote books on it now, would you believe? Uh, four different books, and we're going to try and hopefully read the minds of three people, preferably sat at different tables. So I'm going to ask uh, the guys and girls over at this table here, um, could you just select any one of those books? For the time being, just leave it closed, but keep hold of it. Um, we'll ask um, this lady here, would you just take one of these books? For the time being, just keep it closed, but... And uh, you pick a book, yeah? Only two left, but just pick one of those books. For the time being, keep it closed. That's great. Okay, we've got three people, uh, the two ladies over here, the lady over here, you've each got a book. Um, because you two are sat near to each other, what I'd like you to do is look that way, because uh, I don't want anyone to influence each other on this. Now my book that I've been left is Strange But True Spontaneous Combustion and it's got 146 pages. So what I'd like you to do, could everybody just have a quick look near the back of the book and tell me how many pages have you got? Have you got more than 146? Have you got at least the same number as me in your book, yeah? Right, that's, that, that's superb. We now obviously need to find your page, so we want to use somebody who's knocked it to any of you. Um, do you, you guys, you don't know the ladies over here, do you? You don't know these people, guys and girls over there? That's brilliant. So what I'd like you to do, as I've got 146 pages, apparently some of them have got more than uh, that, pick a number between 1 and 146. 96. Could all three of you turn to page 96 in your books that you've selected at random, okay? Would you like left or right? Left. Could you all, when you get to one, page 146, you'll obviously have two pages in front, uh, no, 86. 96, 96. I'm glad somebody's remembering, 96. Right. You're on 96, but obviously you've got two pages in front of you. Now, do you want them to look at page 96, the original number you said, or the page next to it? Same number. The actual, right, so it's actually page 96. Are there words on page 96, or is it a picture? Words, words. Oh, that's okay, good, right. Look at um, your page, yeah? And I want each of you to think of the top word on the left hand, left, top left hand, of page 86, yeah? 96. Well, it's me, I've got less numbers in my book than you. I've just lost the plot entirely. Oh, what another royal cockle. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. He's gonna let him go. Um, no. I'm joking. I'm Can I, I'll have to claim on Chris's insurance for this and they'll probably charge him three times as much then next year. Right. So no. Let's He's very lucky I've not claimed from my finger. Can you have a look at that later? And I'll tell you what, the gash in that, oh, I reckon when I get back up. to England, I'll need a couple of stitches in it. It's I'm bad. Patient. You need about half a dozen on that mouth. OK, yeah. Get it in your mind clearly. Get it in your mind clearly. Get it in your mind clearly. Get it in your mind clearly, then close your book. OK? If you can just... I'll throw that on there, because we don't need the books. You remember the word, yeah? Throw that on there, we do not need the book. And you remembered your word, yeah? Potentially, between those books, there's probably millions and millions of words that you could have ended up with. But you've ended up with three words, one word each. I don't want you to say your word, keep that to yourself, don't say it out loud, but if you could just momentarily, all three of you, stand up where you are. You can stay where you are, but just stand up a moment. 
you would please. Thank you. I'm going to look at each of you in turn and I want you to think of your word but don't say it. And I'm going to try and pick up on it and write it down. Okay, imagine it almost as though it's on a TV screen. Okay, just stay there. Stay, stay stood up one moment because we're going to see whether we got this right. Could you just project your word to me? And finally, the lady there, could you project to me your word in your mind? Okay. I've got three words written down here. What I'm going to do is turn this round, read them out loud. You don't need to say anything, it's pure and simple so that everybody can see you can't necessarily hear what's going on. If I've got your word correct on this list, so when you quite simply sit down, and if we've got all three of you at the end of it sat down, that means I've got all three words right, in which case everyone will give you a huge round of applause, and I'd like to thank you all, potentially in advance, for being a wonderful audience, and hopefully for me being able to read your minds. We'll see, this is one of the hardest things I do. The words that I've written down, I say you don't need to say anything but if you hear your word, when I've said all three words, just sit down and that will signify that I've got this right. Here goes. The words I've written down are the, notes and car. The, notes and car. Have I got your word? I have. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my reading. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for your help and cooperation. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to need a volunteer.